Hey everyone, it's Mike from Gadget Hacks, and in today's video we're going to be playing Secret Agent and turning our Android device into a spy camera. So to get started, head over to the full article in the description and we'll have a link to the app called Spy Camera OS. So normally with most camera apps, pretty much the whole screen is the viewfinder. So anyone behind you can tell that you're using the camera and taking photos or shooting videos. Spy Camera OS lets you use your device's camera as discreetly as possible by shrinking down the viewfinder. So let's go ahead and open it up. And you'll see it places a translucent overlay of controls uh, along the bottom of your screen. You can also tap and drag it up and down, but I like keeping it at the bottom so it's more inconspicuous. Alright, so here you'll have your shrunken viewfinder. And then you can make it smaller or bigger with this uh, slider bar on the left side. Just uh, swipe up to make it larger and swipe down to make it smaller. And here on the right side you can adjust the zoom. So just swipe up to zoom in and swipe down to zoom out. So this overlay works anywhere in your phone. So your home screen, your web browser, it also works in landscape so you can pretend to play games or watch YouTube while secretly using the camera. So let's go over some of the controls. So here you see a button that says black. So that turns the screen completely black and no one will be able to tell what you're doing. So to take a picture, all you have to do is tap anywhere on the screen and it'll vibrate to let you know that a photo has been taken. Or you can also use the volume button, um, either one works. But this comes at the price of not having a viewfinder at all, so you just have to point in the general direction of whatever you want to take a picture of and hope that you get a good shot. Switch lets you toggle between front and back camera. Our video starts video recording. Burst uh, takes a burst shot of anywhere between 4 and 10 photos and you can customize that number in the settings. Capture takes a single shot but again you can also use a volume button instead which is a little easier. Auto takes one shot every few seconds and you can set that interval yourself in the settings. Face takes an immediate photo every time the camera recognizes a face. If you want to minimize the overlay, just tap on minimize. And again, you can still take photos with the volume button. To bring it back, just head to your notifications and just tap anywhere on it except for the X, which will close the app. You can also close it by tapping exit at the bottom. The help button brings up some tips and uh, more details on the controls. And here in the settings, you can customize your preferences like image resolution, where your pictures are stored, uh, switch the default between front and back camera, turn on autofocus. And also, if you like the app and want to support the developer, you can help them out by donating up here. All right, so that's it for this video. Play around with it and let us know what you think. You can leave a comment down below or over at the full article. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.